Those opening shots were from a raindrop covered Glock 19 with the True Glow TFO night sights, and we were shooting the 9mm Winchester bonded PDX1, 147 grain jacked and hollow point. There's a close up of those, and also our glorious Tennessee ammunition tax, 10 cents per box. And you may have seen a flash of lightning. We're doing this in a thunderstorm in the garage. I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible to keep all of you awake. Advertised moles of velocity on this from Winchester. Excellent timing. It is 1,000 feet per second. <laughs> and my five-shot average out of the Glock 19 four-inch barrel is 991 feet per second. This is a load. Uh, one of these I tested back in 2010 with my water jug or milk jug format filled with wet pack and also four layers of denim over the front of those so you might want to reference that. Uh, that if I recall that shot that tested really well but we're going to use a different medium tonight going with the sim test which is equivalent to ballistic gel or I have it set to match ballistic gel specs. We're going to have four layers of denim and again I'm going to try to do this quickly to keep you awake. Excellent placement and no pass through. It is somewhere inside the 20 inch block. I know a lot of you have always wanted to see how I do this. I'm not going to show all of it, but I hooked me one. How's that for fishing in the dark? Cutting through here where I thought the path was and snagged an expanded pedal on that knife blade. How about that? Let's put it back where it's supposed to be, which should not be difficult to find. Then we'll look at the track. One element of the 9mm 147 loads that I really like is a low recoil. You may have noticed that in that opening five shot sequence and I actually thought, although I wasn't shooting very quickly, I missed a shot but I had two hits that were right on top of each other. So the point is you can maintain a very good bore line and not have a lot of muzzle rise with these 147s and still probably get some good performance. This started to expand about a half inch in. The stretch cavity is four inches in length nearly 0.75 or three quarters of an inch wide at its widest point. We're cutting about a half inch deep here, so we're doing that on the other side as well, getting about one inch in diameter with our wound cavity here. And then as far as penetration, I put this back in exactly where it was before I hit it with a knife, and it's coming in at 14.75. So even though my block is coming in on the lower end of calibration at 3.35 inches, I still had really good penetration with this heavier bullet. Let's get some additional measurements. There's one of the points, but the average is .573 inches. After taking a warm bath, retained weight is 146.3 grains. If your perception is that the 9mm 147 grain load should be avoided, you're probably looking at data that is several years out of date. The ammo makers have really stepped up the technology. You still have to perform your research, but I think the PDX-1 has some potential. Thanks for watching. Now you can take a nap.